I'm in sunny Santa Monica in California and I only have one day to take in the area. So let me show you a good way to make the most of a short trip. The first thing I do is check into my hotel. And today, that is the Viceroy Santa Monica Boutique Beach Hotel and Resort. The rooms here are great, with big beds and lots of light. Quick 30 minutes on the treadmill and the 24-hour gym to get my body moving after my travels. I take just a moment to myself to grab some breakfast and relax down here in one of the several private cabanas by the hotel pool. The other reason I chose this hotel is because it's right in the center of town, close to the beach and just a short walk to all the action. With limited time to make the most of the area, I'm linking up with the Santa Monica Bike Tour Company to show me around. Okay, dude, so I've only got one day here in Santa Monica, so I want to get the most out of the area as I can. So what tour are we going to do? All right, so we're going to do two of our tours. We offer four, but these two are the Street Art Tour yep. and the Sweet Spots Tour. And they're going to showcase an entire selection of both Santa Monica and Venice in the sense that we're going to see the local underground street art and graffiti that Venice has to yep. offer, as well as Santa Monica's Sweet Spots and the tastiest boutique shop. All right, I'm ready. All right, let's you do ready? this then. Let's go, let's on our bikes. They take groups of up to 10 people. So if you're in town with your family or a couple of mates, you can team up together. Our first stop is Sweet Lady Jane Bakery, which all started from Jane's family kitchen. And still to this day, they pride themselves on using the freshest ingredients and making everything right here in the store. Hey mate, can I please get um, uh, one brownie and one lemon bar? So, the two best things which you've said to get are the... Lemon bar and the brownie. Okay, so which one do you want? I'm gonna have to get the brownie. Oh, dude, because I wanted the lemon bar yeah, anyway. Okay. All right, so let's get into... This is amazing. All right, the best part, it's like guilty free because we're eating calories, but burning calories by riding at the same time. Exactly. So we can get back to riding and keep eating. No, let's do it then. On to the next sweet spot. Come on. As you pass between sweet locations, you get to take in the shopping precinct along Montana Avenue. A little movie theater. Our next stop is John Kelly Chocolate, an award-winning high-end chocolate shop. Okay, so what is this chocolate? This is dark, uh, dark chocolate, it's a truffle fudge made mm -hmm. of Belgian dark chocolate, and it has French gray sea salt, and, and you eat it salt side down. And this is an award-winning chocolate. This is a Sophie Award thrice-winning chocolate. That's true. Okay. Have you had this before? I have, actually, and it's awesome. Okay. Award-winning chocolate. Salt down? Salt down. Oh, it's so creamy. Oh, I feel so fancy. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like riding my bike again. <laughs> yeah, you want to hear this? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> After taste testing some of Santa Monica's finest sugary delights, it's time to switch gears and take in the historic streets of Venice Beach. This whole area is so flat. This ride has just been really easy and it's uh, allowed me to see a whole bunch of the area and take in a, a chunk of culture and these bike paths make it really friendly for riders. Definitely worth doing. I don't know why, I don't know why. Over the last five years, Venice has gentrified and is a real hot spot for tourists. But it's the underground arts culture that Chernor has promised me I'll see today. Is so sick. Yeah. Tell me a bit about this artwork in this alleyway. So essentially, this is just an example of are the artwork that's actually in Venice. It's a ton of legal street graffiti, so it's yeah. in collaboration not only with business owners, but there's some commission work. 
This is commissioned by the Rag and Bone with Alex Yanes. He was inspired by Cuban influences from the 80s and 90s, so that's where the color scheme comes from. It's all individual pieces, so it's an awesome piece. Just an example of everything that you can find in Venice. Yeah, it's cool. It's amazing, actually. It's one of the most Instagram spots in Los Angeles. Really, this whole area of Kinney here in Venice is like uh, just walking along a free uh, gallery. Yeah, it's like it's stores here, stores there, art everywhere. Yeah, it's cool. All right, let's Instagram it. Yeah, you ready? <laughs> so there you have it. With only one day, I've managed to soak up my hotel, sample the local delights, and take in some culture. I hope I've provided you with a little inspiration for your next LA adventure.